it is the Crynum's current champions taking on the Eastern Cape Allos on the move. Yeah, the girls are feeling good, looking forward to a good, tough game, and I'm fought against the Crynum's. It is the Eastern Cape Allos resplendent in their red playing uniforms who make their way onto court. Yes, she also plays for the South African Fast Five netball team. And I think the Allos have scored a huge asset in having Lauren Lee Christians to call upon. Excellent take under the pole. This is looking good. They look determined. They look clear. And it is the Crynums coming away with the ball, making good use of the width of the court. They're opening it up. Holtzhausen appears to be moving freely and scoring with a plum. Classes deadly under the pole. Can't leave her unattended. Starting to see the best of Lauren Lee Christian's speed. Apparently, she is an avid shoe shopper. Ellos oh. need this goal. And so they're keeping that margin down to four. Oh, Holtzhausen breaks beautifully. Quick feet. It's an in and out ball. She's right under the pole. And this is the traditional recipe for the Holtzhausen show. If we look at the turnovers, the Crynums are having the glut of position there. So the Allos need to tighten up on the defense, perhaps lure or tempt the Crynums into some diagonal passes. Capable of putting up shots from anywhere. Holtzhausen is happy to take this long shot oh, and it rolls my in. This, look at that! Absolutely, coach. It is definitely worth an applaud. What the Crimes have done well as well in the shooting circle for the Allos is that they're splitting the um, the shooters. One shooter needs to anchor, and the one needs to do more of the sweeping and cleaning. At the moment, they're separating them. That's a great interception by Rademan so often happens when the player is waiting for the ball. If we look at the interceptions, it is the Crynums showing their domination there. You know, we always talk about base play, the general quality of play, and the Crynums have got a very steady base play level. You very seldom see them get untidy. Now, goal shooter's calling for the ball and she's standing still. It's making it very difficult for the feeders to offload. Good job, Arne Rist. It's a better effort from the Allos. Good cheering. It's an offside call. And Holthausen does a usual quick step. And it's another goal, taking the Crynums to the total of 40. And we're expecting big things from these under 21s. We want them to be in the top four. And we're sure they're going to give a good account of themselves. Oh, the Allos will relish that opportunity. There is a little hint of a smile there, and so it should be. You would expect that to happen. You wouldn't expect Mareka Holtzhausen to pull out of the circle. Instead of confine herself in that small space, she will pull out and allow Radaman to maybe come and play more the goal shooter holding position. So, the favor Radaman saw her in action at wing attack, now she gets a chance at goal attack. Swift movement by Radaman and a polished finish. And Manna Klaassens likes that too. So the Krynums lead by 21 goals. 22 goals it, and it becomes 23. Now the match is certainly running away from the Ellos. And it is the Krynums driving strong onto that circle's edge. It's clear that's where they want to feed from. And that's a polished finish by Radaman. So, Krynum's run out easy winners, 63, and it was the Allos who came in trailing with 36 goals of their own.